Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. For the final race of race 69, right before race 70 of the event, you need to use a NASCAR and you have to hit a very specific time around 8.16 to 8.17 is what I've seen so far. Let's go ahead and tell you what the stage 6 effects are of, these, of this car and what combinations you're going to be looking at to make it through this very challenging uh, race. Now, Natural Motion did not make this car super good, and by doing so, they really made things difficult for us as players to beat this challenge. Stage 5 only, you're not even close to what we're looking for with an 8.1. You're actually looking at a car that does something like 10.02, okay? Maybe I can move it around a little bit and get 10.021, but bottom line is it's a 10-second car, Stage 5 only. Stage 6 effects, I'm going to give it to you without going through them because we want to keep the video a little bit shorter this time to get to the point. I'll break it down for you. Number 1, body. Number 2, engine. Number 3, turbo. Number 4, nitrous. Number 5, tire. Number 6, trans. And finally, barely useful, intake. So, 8.1 with the top 3 is quite possible. It takes a little bit of tuning, which is easy, and it takes a particular driving technique, which is what I use to get it. I'm not saying this is the fastest way to drive it. You can play around with the driving, but you can see these three stage sixes give you 8.201 dyno. Fortunately, the car beats dyno slightly when shifted and used in a particular way, and that will allow us to get under that. So we can get 8.1 runs with this car, if you go ahead and get the uh, shifting and launching correct. Okay, I basically went out of first around 50 miles per hour, which, well, 50 kilometer per hour, which may be early, may be late. Um, what I do know is when you go second pretty early, hit nitrous, you will run 8.1, low 8.1s on those three stage sixes and therefore beat that final race. Things get really bad from there. Here's why. If, if you're missing either one of the top stage sixes, um, unfortunately, the others don't really make up for it much. So it, once you're missing body, okay, even if you were to get trans, tire, and keep turbo, you're looking at a pretty rough, pretty rough time to try to hit that 8.1. Other combinations without engine and body are just as bad. So basically, once you drop one of the tops, your times are going to get really difficult. Now, it's not that bad. You can get a little higher, but going from an 8.3 to an 8.1, it's going to be tough. It's hard to beat that much. Um, now, it's worth a shot to try it and see how much it drops by, but any 8.2 runs... You're going to have to see if you maybe you can get lucky and get a slower car that does 8.2. I've only seen 8.1 cars so far from my crewmates' posts. Here we go. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Eh, I mean, it, it did pretty good considering where we started, but unfortunately, that's not going to cut it as far as an 8.1 run. Okay, so maybe if we play with it, there's a better chance. But again, that's utilizing one of the stronger stage sixes and basically all the other strong ones. Anything outside of these combinations, things start to look worse and worse. Uh, unfortunately, if you were to have these four, it's not going to be that great. However, that's because trans is not really that strong compared to nitrous. If you squeeze in nitrous, you can actually do this. So w we have two guaranteed combinations of four that involves body, engine, turbo is basically any four. Outside of body, engine, and the eliminating turbo, which is actually number three, then the faster force utilizing uh, tire, nitrous transmission may still work and should work. But once you're missing one of the top stage sixes, things go downhill pretty fast. And that's really what you're looking at so luck being what it is is always going to be coming into play with this car and these events so if you don't have the right stage sixes no matter how much 
um, you try, and this is again with full fusions on top, you may not be able to beat this event. This is a purple star car. The crates are not going to be totally free. Uh, so that's what you're looking at. And even with these particular four, we're still looking at barely making it kind of situation. 8.18 may not even cut it because you need 8.17 or 1.6. Maybe we'll find an 8.18 car, but all this uh, makes things kind of difficult. So summing it up, this car is going to be tough to use in race 69 without being basically maxed or close to it with the right stage sixes. Combination that are going to be needed will require you to try to have body and engine and turbo or a uh, combination of engine, turbo, and strong stage sixes, which is uh, tire and nitrous. Any other combos with body, turbo, and these may also cut it, but the rest will need five. So minimum three, most likely four, and s for some of us, maybe all of them, because you're missing fusions as well, uh, this is not going to be an easy event. That being said, I wish you guys the best of luck with this. We'll recap the strongest to weakest stage sixes, and that's again body, engine, turbo, nitrous, tire, trans, and then finally intake. Once again, Best of luck. If you like this video, leave a like. Feel free to share it with your friends. Let them know what I found out with regard to the possibilities here. If you have comments or have additional information, feel free to share them. I'm here to help people out, so I don't mind if you help me out with better information. If you have a better ship pattern, feel free to sh uh, share it with everybody. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel and like these kind of videos, uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell and you get notifications when I put up these videos. Thanks again to Nitro CSR2, uh, Nitro 4 CSR, I'm sorry, uh, for letting me access the account to test the stage sixes and make you this video. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.